this is the Shogun Tactile Switch by Vala Supply. The springs on this comes in heavy with a 78 gram and by far the most heaviest tactiles that we have tried. So how do they sound and feel? Let's find out. What's going on guys? Ox here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with yet another Switch review and this time we are trying something new and let's all take a look and listen at the Shogun Switches by Vala Supply. This is a tactile switch with a heavy 78 gram springs which is by far my most heaviest tactile that I have tried. This switch just comes in in packs of 10 for $69.90. Nice. They also said that they come in pre-factory lube so I'm very much excited for you guys to hear the Santas and hear my opinion about them. By the way, the switches were sent for a review but I wasn't paid to make the video and Vala Supply didn't see the final script so of course I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about their switches. I'll go ahead and put Vala Supply links on my description down below so if you can please do check them out. So in today's video, it's going to be the usual a stock versus lube comparison and a sound comparison versus the other tactile switch. And of course, we'll also do the material breakdown of the switches. If you all want to hear my own thoughts and opinion about the switches, please do stick around at the end of the sound test. And speaking of sound test, let me give you guys a quick disclaimer before we start that the sound and experience will vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it might feel and sound different on your board. We are of course be using the Vega 65 with a polycarbonate plate, a PCB to plate foam and one case foam. The switches was lube with a Tribosis 3203 and 105 grade zero on the springs. The kickups that was used on the sound test was a Domiki set, so with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the Shogun switches.
that was the sound test on the Shogun switches. Please do let me know on what you think about the switches on my comment section down below. And let's have some discussion as you know, I always try to answer your questions as much as I can. And if you can, of course, please comment your opinion so I can go ahead and send them to Vala Supply. Before we talk about my own thoughts and opinion, you already know what's next. Let's break down the materials that was used on the switch. As you can see, these are a 5-pin switch. And is using an MX style housing. So we have BME for the top housing. Nylon on the bottom housing. And of course, our favorite palm for the stem. And lastly, the 78 gram springs. So that was a mature breakdown of the Shogun switches. And if you made it up to this point of the video, I would like to say thank you so much for staying. And again, reminding you that the sound and experience may vary depending on your keyboard build. So it might feel and sound different on your keyboard. Finally, let's all talk about my thoughts on the feel. On stock, it was okay, but not to the point that they are smooth out of the box and no means that I recommend using them on stock. It did have that raw plastic feeling to it, but it's not like the other tactiles that we have tried on stock. You can also slightly feel a crunch on the leaf, but it's just me being nitpicky. Of course, you know me, I don't really like using tactiles on stock, regardless if they would come in pre-factory lube. So we have lubed them and I lubed thine, lightly using Tribosis 3203, focusing on the rails and avoiding the stem legs. The spring was okay, so I didn't really focus on bag lubing them. Once lube, it felt so much better, like it's a really night and day experience. I mean, given that this is a tactile switch, which means that lubing them would really make a huge difference, unlike linears nowadays. But of course, this varies depending on how you lube your switches. Now for the important part, the tactility and that 78 gram springs. The tactility on this is more on the early to mid rounded bump and honestly I can say that for most they can find this harsh or aggressive at first but once you get the use of it, it's really satisfying like you can really feel the tactility. Now for that 78 gram springs, boy my first impression was like why is this like this and when I saw the spec sheet I was like 78 grams because I didn't really check at the first time that I got him but by far this is the most heaviest stack that, that I've tried and let me tell you that you can actually feel some fatigue at first and I don't really recommend this for gaming. This is like an acquired taste that you need to give it like a day or three before you can get used to it. I've used this for almost like four to five days now and I can still notice some slight fatigue when typing on them. But yeah, they feel really nice once you get used to it and the tactility, they really do feel satisfying but it's not something that I would use on a daily and I still find it them heavy at times. Moving on on the sound, on stock, you can hear that plastic curl feeling that I always talk about plus a little bit of cliff crunch. But it did stay true to what they said on the website that there are no noticeable spring pings or pings in general. They did say that this comes in pre-factory loop but you know, same as the feel, I don't really like the sound of my tactiles on stock regardless if it's pre-factory loop. Once loop, it sounded more subtle, of course, so it has that deep poppy sound profile in which I really like and I have no complaints on the sound as you can actually hear the tactility as well. I can say that I like these over the fantasy tactile switches that we have reviewed and just like the tactility, this sound is just satisfying over time. Overall, I can honestly say that it is a refreshing tactile and while it's heavy, it has that satisfying tactile feel for each key press and it just feels solid. 
but I still stand by to my opinion that this might be an acquired preference as it is indeed heavy at first so be warned. If you are looking for something that's different in tactiles, I do recommend checking out the Valao Shogun switches and I highly suggest to get pack of 10 first just to have a feel on the 78 gram and go from there once you like it. So yeah, that is it for the video guys. I know this is quite long so hopefully you like the video and hopefully you find my insight helpful and if you do please don't forget to hit the like button and let's aim for the usual the 50 likes i know we can do it what's next well we do have another vala supply switch coming in and this time it's a linear plus we also have the new acupone switches so please stay tuned for that as we are grinding out the september again don't forget to hit the like button share if you want and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you guys on the next soundtest peace